Hello and welcome back to London Cycle Routes. Today I'll be showing you how to cycle from Rotherhithe in East London, south of the river, to Primrose Hill in North London. As always, this is a lovely route. It goes all the way on protected bike lanes and quiet streets. So let's get going. Um, we're starting on Lower Road next to Southern Park. That was the uh, Norwegian Siemens Mission Church in on the right there. And uh, you can see we're starting on this lovely protected cycle lane. It goes behind the bus stops and we're going down Jamaica Road and we're basically heading west here. Um, the River Thames is on our right if that helps you get your bearings. Um, this is a new cycle lane. It was put in by uh, TfL and Southwark Council uh, just a few months ago actually. And uh, they're actually already extending it. It's going to go to Greenwich soon. But for now it goes to Rotherhithe which is where we started. Oh, by the way, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos about the best ways to cycle around London. Um, you can see that this route's absolutely fantastic. You don't have to interact with cars at all, um, and there's absolutely loads of people using it, even though it's an extremely cold uh, February day. You might notice these little blue paint stretches, by the way. They are in front of the side roads, so that any motorists pulling up at them know to expect cyclists coming across the junction. It's kind of a safety measure. I think it's a pretty smart thing to do. Transport for London actually used to paint all of its cycleways blue the whole way, um, but they stopped doing that. I think partly because um, a lot of people would complain about it being a bit of an eyesore. Um, I, d I didn't think it looked too bad, but um, it uh, it made it harder to get new schemes through the consultation. People would say, oh, it's ugly. Um, so yeah, they actually stopped doing that. Now, we're actually going to turn off this cycleway here and turn left down Tanner Street. Um, there are a few places that you can turn off, but this is ours. There is a short stretch of protected cycle lane here as well. But for the next few minutes, we're actually going to be following a uh, Transport for London signposted route through quiet streets. And uh, that route is called Quiet Way 14. Um, so the way we'll be following it is we'll be following these Q14 symbols on the road, um, the little cycle symbols, and then they say Q14, you can see them there, we've just gone through a few. The way this works is there are some great back streets in London which have very low traffic, you can see there's people walking in the road, you're not really going to be worrying too much about cars, but if you don't know the area it's actually pretty difficult to pick your way through because the street layout's not very rational. So the way that the quiet way works is there are sort of signs on the road and you follow them and uh, it gives you a nice route with um, not really having to interact with cars very much. Um, some of the quiet ways are better than others, there's quite a few across London. Um, this is one of the good ones, so uh, make sure you follow the arrows and the Q14 symbols. The signage is pretty good, um, it's not perfect, uh, yeah, you know, keep an eye out. One tip that I have, um, if you think you've lost your way in the quiet way, go backwards. Uh, because sometimes the signage is better in one direction than it is in the other. So this can help you find the way that you were supposed to go. Um, yeah, you can see we're sort of picking our way through Southwark and Bermondsey here. One of the ways that this street is made low traffic, you'll see coming up in a second, is um, it has through traffic filtered out of it. So you can see here we're passing through bollards. Cars can't pass through bollards because, um, you know, they'd hit the bollard. So, um, yeah, uh, it, it basically makes this permeable for bikes, but not for cars. Um, here again as well, we've got a uh, protected contraflow cycle lane. So this street is two way for bikes, but it's only one way for cars. And uh, we're separated from traffic. And here again, uh, there's another method. You're allowed to go across a sort of pedestrian square area. Um, we're crossing Southwark Bridge Road here, by the way. You turn right here if you want to go over Southwark Bridge, uh, but we don't. We're going straight down Union Street. We will be turning right in a second, however, and leaving Quietway 14 um, when we get to Blackfriars Road. And uh, that is our ticket into Central and North London. And uh, that, that's where the, the quiet streets end, and we'll actually be back on a main road. But the main road will have a massive, um, huge protected cycle lane on it that will keep us safe from through traffic. For now though, the back streets of Southwark are doing a nice job of keeping us uh, away from motor traffic and keeping it a nice cycle ride. And uh, yeah, you can see here another another contraflow cycle lane, protected again. There's a lot of twists and turns here, so it wouldn't be obvious where to go without the quiet way route, but we do have it. And here we go, we're at Blackfriars Road now. That's not a signal junction by the way, so you've got to wait for, um, wait for a gap in the traffic. And we go along here. Yeah, we've got our own lane and there's a wide strip of um, 
of pavement protecting us from the motor traffic. It's actually, um, yeah, there's a lot of people out on bikes today, isn't it, for a sort of wet, cold day. Yeah, there's some people overtaking me. This shows, by the way, that when I say uh, this route, which end-to-end -end, takes about 45 minutes, it took me about 45 minutes. You can do it a lot faster if you're just going to, you know, bomb it on a bike. Um, 45 minutes is just an estimate for a pretty casual cycle. Here we are going over Blackfriars Bridge, by the way, so leaving South London. Um, we're well on our way. Now, um, these, this junction could be quite slow. There's a lot of uh, traffic lights and the timings on them are a little bit weird, so if you catch them at the wrong time, it can take a while. Um, we're sticking with Farringdon Road here and it's going to go pretty much all the way up to North London on a very sort of similar uh, protected bike lane feel. It's, uh, it's pretty good, this is a really good north-south axis through kind of east central London. But as I say there are a lot of signals so um, wow, there's a lot of people out aren't there. Um, so yeah just keep going up. Um, we're now travelling pretty much due north by the way. And that uh, bridge ahead of us is the Hoban Viaduct, if that help, helps you get your, um, your bearings. And I'll, uh, I'll mention again, by the way, if you do find this video useful, um, do make sure you hit the subscribe button and like it on YouTube as well, because it does help other people find it, and it will help you find it in the future. Um, this channel is all about uh, videos like this, basically showing you how to get from A to B in London through basically always quiet streets and protected cycle lanes. Um, coming out here, watch out because we're going to go left. That's a very sharp corner, so you're going to want to slow down in advance and go right here. Uh, we're following these arrows, by the way. Um, that was quite annoying. There was a little bit of construction work there. We had to go around it. It's not always like that. I think it's already fixed actually since I did the video. But you know, that's a sort of um, that's a sort of thing that you can run into. Um, we're actually following CS6 now, by the way, which is written on the road see there that's a that's a cycle route and we're sort of taking this towards uh, King's Cross it's mostly CS6 is actually the name of that that long um, protected cycleway that went up Blackfriars Road and Farringdon Road but it becomes quiet streets here um, we follow here through Warner Street and we'll be on Phoenix Place in a second as well um, we're actually running in quiet streets here parallel to Grayson Road and actually I was down Grayson Road uh, this week and Camden Council is actually putting protected cycle lanes on Grayson Road right now. So um, that will become a new route where you won't have to go to the back streets, you can stick to the main roads and still feel protected when those are done. But for now um, it's not quite finished but I'll definitely do some videos with routes incorporating Grayson Road when it's done. So you'll know. Um, and yeah, but, but to be honest for now this is actually a pretty nice route. Um, you know, uh, this the, t the back streets take you through here, and then you turn left onto Ampton Street through a sort of nicely landscaped little bit of parkland. And yeah, we're just sort of wow, there are so many people out on bikes genuinely for such a cold day. And here we are coming up to a set of signals where we cross Grayson Road. So if you're riding this once the cycle tracks have been put on Grayson Road, you will be able to sort of just come here. And we go through here, through Regent Square. Um, I was here the other day, by the way, and uh, I was looking at a signboard, and there used to be a church here until the 60s. Um, it was bombed in World War II in 1945 by the second to last V2 bomb that uh, fell on London. And it lay derelict until 1966, which is quite a long time, actually, for a, um, a church to lay derelict. Um, we're here on Judd Street, by the way. This is our route towards King's Cross and you get to a signal junction here and that lets you cross um, Euston Road that's British Library on the left and St Pancras Station on the right so if you need to get Eurostar jump on it here um, we're on Midland Road now which is uh, named after the train company that built St Pancras Station and uh, yeah you just go straight on these nice protected cycle tracks here it's a really good route um, as I said at the beginning we're going to Primrose Hill so we've actually got a uh, little while to go, not too long. This uh, this takes us behind the bus stop here. That was a great illustration, by the way, of why a bus stop bypass is there. Because there was a bus parked at the stop, and it took us around it. We didn't have to overtake it, because it would overtake us again then. 
Now you're left here onto Goldington Crescent. You can see this route is kind of knitted together with, um, it's got stretches of protected cycleway and then it's got stretches of quiet street. But that's really what you've got to do in London. Um, it's very rare that you'll be able to get from exactly where you need to go to exactly where you need to go on just segregated cycle lanes. And also just quiet streets, but slowly there is a network being created where you can use both and you can pretty much get to most places as long as they're not in West London or in you know, places where the councils are terrible. We're going up on Royal College Street here. Um, on weekdays, by the way, there's sometimes construction work around this bit. So you can't always uh, rely on that bit of cycle lane being open, but it's not a huge problem. This is a very slight incline, by the way. It's, uh, um, some people say it's a hill. Um, I wouldn't say it was a hill, but it, you are pedalling slightly at an incline. Um, some people ask me to note when there are hills in the video, which is why I'm saying that. We just passed Camden Road Station, by the way, and we're coming up on Kentish Town which, uh, if you know your North London geography, is pretty close to Primrose Hill, pretty close. Um, we're going to be turning left in a second here, onto Farrier Street, which is a really useful cut through. And uh, yeah, you cross this road, again this isn't a signal junction, so you need to watch out, it's just like crossing a road as a pedestrian, stop, look and listen. Um, we go onto this estate, um, I put my usual caveat for going through here, make sure you get off your bike and just um, don't ride at anyone or anything like that because um, people can get quite annoyed if you know someone's cycling aggressively in a pedestrian area and yeah you just go straight through here these streets are filtered they've got bollards on them uh, so it is all through traffic here you're not really going to run into many cars this is a lovely little street by the way cute little chocolate box houses with some excellent bollards at the end I must say and we're on Harmood Street which was recently filtered as well So yeah, you, you actually probably shouldn't even run into uh, one car when you're on it. So we're going up here, past these lovely little cute uh, Kentish Town houses, and we get onto Prince of Wales Road, which is quite a nice name for a road, I think. And these cycle tracks are brand new. Um, these were put finished during the lockdown. They go behind parking. They're a little bit narrow, I'd say. But we just go up here. Um, eventually, by the way, if you go straight on, that takes you to Hammerstock Hill, but we're not going there. We're going left onto Crogsland Road. This is a nice quiet street, um, and uh, it has a nice sort of junction treatment at the end. A little bit nerdy, but there you go. Uh, you can go here and right across, and yeah, it takes us up onto this one-way street here, Regent's Park Road. And uh, this is a hill. I'll happily admit that this is a hill, so yeah. <laughs> and then you turn left here on this really nicely done uh, route over the uh, West Coast Main Line. And here, we're in Primrose Hill. This is, uh, it's called Regent's Park Road, but I think most people probably refer to it as Primrose Hill High Street. You can see here the route we've done. Um, yeah, it's pretty direct, pretty good. Took about 45 minutes. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, make sure you subscribe and like the video on YouTube. And uh, see you again next time.